Oh, that actually slams. What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the Windwalker, which has been a little point of giggles with the team here because all of us have been playing Windwalker, <laughs> even though we had as assignments and spreadsheet. Who's covering what? And uh, the word spread that how much fun Windwalker was and people started like, oh, I'm just going to play Windwalker for a few hours. They're like, what? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Uh, and certainly disagreements about certain aspects of it. But of course, it's my show, so I'm going to give my opinion. <laughs> uh, Windwalker is so fun. The problem with Windwalker is the same as, as it's, the story is told throughout BFAs. They just scale so badly. They're always compared to DKs and to Demon Hunters that have these really niche and often very, very useful abilities that the Windwalker doesn't really carry. It has Ring of Peace, which is brought by other specs. It's leg Sweep brought by Demon Hunters for free and as standard, and it comes from other classes as well. It's like, mm. And also, you've got morons who are taunting bosses to get good touch of karmas out we'll come back to that one so it doesn't really bring anything particularly unique that isn't brought by another monk and broom and it also isn't held that brewmaster has been such a staple of raid teams for such a long time that when it comes to their natural debuffing ability it's usually covered elsewhere because miss weavers haven't exactly seen much representation either uh, what makes this fun let's talk about it uh so we've got new additions like dance of chi g uh dance of chi g uh is one of the controversial ones here in the office because i think it's ludicrous and i hate it and uh, the other guys love it spending chi as a chance to make your next spinning crane kick free and deal an additional 200 percent damage i hate this stuff i like wind furies 10 percent is consistent dance of shi spinning crane kick not only does lol amounts of damage especially if you've got star earth, uh, storm earth and fire up but it also is utterly utterly random it's based on spending chi i have no idea what the rppm is of this thing I hate things that are completely random, completely out of your control, and suddenly make you do LOL amounts of damage. I don't like that. It reminds me of Twilight Devastation uh, in how much damage it does and the feel of it. What I would prefer is something like two spinning crane kicks in a row or something like that allows Dance of Shiji to exist. So you expend some resources, but you actually activate it. You're using it for a good reason. I prefer stuff like that. Now, it might be that they're actually doing this because they want people to take hit combo less. I don't know why hit combo is still in the talent tree and part of me still believes and i think i've said this literally every wow expansion since mr pandaria is that hit combo exists because people don't read what their mastery is which is still kind of basically hit combo uh just to give you more reward for doing it at this point it should be gone if that is the reason it's still there then then it just needs to go because people read hit read their talents more than they'll read what their mastery does i imagine most people don't exactly know what verse does so i think if that's the reason it needs to go i would also say whirling dragon punch needs to be baseline it needs to go in there and also fist of the white tiger like strike of the wind lord was such a nice ability to have back in the day i would really like to see those two things baseline to open up and free those talent trees one thing we are noticing more regularly in shadowlands and again legendaries and other covenant abilities could change this is there, there are some specs where they have a defining talent profile and they've had that for a long time so off the top of my head it's it's all three mages vengeance demon hunters windwalker monks frost dks for the most part all these specs kind of have a defining setup in the talent tree and they've had that for like years at this point and blizzard isn't looking for ways to free people up to actually try different things and it's things like whirling dragon punch most people take that like strike uh, fist of the white tiger is a great spell we used to have passively back in not too long ago can we bring it back uh those are the ideas i would put forward to windwalker but having said that this is a new main contender yes the fourth one because it's just so goddamn fun to play zuen being back baseline i love i love zuen it looks so amazing i know it's not the most interactive ability in the world but for me not all dps specs dps cooldowns need to have some sort of thinking approach to them sometimes it's nice that you press it because you want to do more damage i am totally fine with that i am absolutely fine with that we got fortifying brew as a windwalker touch of karma still here i was kind of hoping such a karma would disappear i've been in too many raids with windwalkers who are trying to make a good impression and usually the good way of making good impressions is to do lol damage and suddenly they've taunted the boss and then they die um there are, I've, I've seen that so many times, I just wish it would go. And I'm kind of sad that Good Karma, one of the talents, is 100% of the damage redirected by Touch of Karma, heals you. So, are you encouraging it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. Is that what you're doing? But it is super, super, super fun. And even Finn, who is a caster in throughout the majority of his WoW time, has actually 
uh, put this as his new potential main as well. This thing is something we really, really love. The choice of two-handers and one-handers is back, which I know will be a big deal for many of you. It's looking very, very cool to play. Let's just hope the scaling and the damage and all those things come along with it. Goodbye.